If you want to hear how the real-life form of Valak has a cameo in the deleted scenes of The Nun, then stick around to the end of this video. Welcome back to Things You Missed, and welcome to the end of the year as we know it. One of the most hyped events of the year for horror was the release of the fifth Conjurverse film, The Nun. There were controversies, there were theories, there was speculation. And then the movie came out and no one really liked it. But they didn't see the deleted scenes until very recently when they were released. And I have them. And there are a couple more connections to the Conjuring franchise and other things you missed in the deleted scenes. So let's do the part where I tell them to you. Okay, the first deleted scene shows Father Burke before he gets called to the Vatican, and he's in Philadelphia sitting in the confession booth listening to this young boy named Timothy make his confessions. As a side note, I have to wonder if the reason the scene got cut had anything to do with that huge scandal with the priests in Philadelphia that happened this year, probably right around the time that this movie was being finished. You know, the thing I should never talk about in detail if I ever want to be considered for YouTube Rewind. Anyway, in this scene, Father Burke is doing his crossword puzzles as he's seen doing throughout the Nun, however, this is a different puzzle from the one he carries in Romania during the rest of the film. The word that comes to him is crow, foreshadowing one of the first things he sees at the abbey, a flock of crows. Remember when they're in the carriage later on the way to the abbey? Sister Irene helps him come up with the word deliveries, which foreshadows them going to the delivery room. I have to wonder if coming up with the word crow could be a hint that Father Burke has a little sliver of psychic abilities as well. One of the other words that he has written is Bobby Thompson. Former cub, just saying. There's also an extension of the scene where Father Burke first meets Sister Irene. He tells her to pack civilian clothes, because this will be the one occasion in which they don't want to broadcast their faith. Again, it makes me wonder if Father Burke senses there's something evil there already, and he wants to stay a bit incognito during their approach. After Father Burke and Sister Irene discover the books, there's a deleted scene of the father first taking a look at them, where we can also see some kind of mask. It kind of reminds me of the Sunny Family Colts mask from Crypt TV. Sister Irene asks why they don't just destroy the books, and this is the father's response. There's a belief in certain circles that destroying any object of magic could release whatever power was believed to be stored inside. This is a reference to Ed Warren's belief that he explains in The Conjuring as the reason that they lock up all of their cursed objects in a room. Well, why not just throw them in an incinerator? Destroy them. Well, I would only destroy the vessel. Sometimes it's better to keep the genie in the bottle. I would speculate these books from the Abbey could eventually make their way into the Warren's room of cursed objects. The father also further explains something that I brought up in the previous episodes on the Nun, which was this symbol of the snake eating its tail. I had mentioned that the snake is a reference to Valak, who's known as the Marquis of Snakes, and the father adds that the snake consuming itself represents the cycle of death and rebirth. Now remember there were also sightings of this symbol, but with the snakes in a figure eight like an infinity symbol? This might be a hint that Valak will keep being reborn continuously, thus becoming a recurring villain in the series. Also in the previous episode, I pointed out the big hidden detail that connects Lorraine Warren to Sister Irene's past. Click here if you want to see it. One of the other pieces of evidence that contributes to their connection was the fact that the Vatican sends Sister Irene to Romania because of her familiarity with the territory. But she's never been to Romania, so I speculated that the reason for sending her was because of her visions and her family connection to Lorraine Warren. That's basically all confirmed in this deleted scene. Territory. Carla Conroy recommended you because you were familiar with territory. But he didn't mean Romania, he meant your visions. Sister, you are familiar with strange phenomena. The next one doesn't really have any things you missed, so let's move on to my favorite of the deleted scenes, because it's the creepiest. This is after Irene wakes up in the abbey and she's looking around. Last time, one of the things I pointed out was Valak's ability to create wind even in an enclosed hallway. Here we can see that it's definitely more than a coincidence. Roll it. Let me know in the comments if you notice any unexplained indoor wind in any of the other films. There could be references to Valak that we haven't uncovered yet. If you've been following my Things You Missed coverage of The Nun, you'll know that Valak is based off a demon known as the President of Hell, as told in the real-life book The Lesser Key of Solomon. In that book, Valak is described as an angelically winged boy riding a two-headed dragon, attributed with the power of finding treasures. The nun form of Valak is actually something that's unique to the Conjuring movies, and when I saw these demon-like forms in the text found by Father Burke, I speculated that Valak has the ability to change among many forms. The scene where all the nuns are praying is extended to confirm my suspicions. It takes many forms. A serpent, a small child, a 
demon, but the form the evil takes the most is a nun. Someone in the comments also pointed out that the demon form of Valak can be seen briefly at the end of The Conjuring 2. And I mentioned in the previous Nun episode that the child form is not seen, but referenced briefly with this statue that suddenly has wings. The nuns also go on to explain to Sister Irene that the abbess lost her life and soul going up against Valak. When I first saw the nun, I had assumed that most of the nun spirits she encounters at the abbey are manifestations of Valak, but with the addition of this scene, I'd say that most of them are there to help her, and the abbess is possibly the only one she encounters that's being controlled by Valak. Our last deleted scene has Sister Irene questioning what will happen if the evil re-emerges, and Father Burke assures her that someone good will be there to send it back if that does happen, which foreshadows the actions that Lorraine Warren would later take in The Conjuring 2. The holidays may be over, but you're still going to want to start off 2019 in style, and here's how you do it. You go to the CZ's World merch store and use code DEATHMISS for 10% off any of these stylish designs for the rest of the month. More importantly, we're going to be getting a new chapter in the Conjuring universe this summer, so if you want to hear all the things you missed in Annabelle 3, remember to subscribe to CZ's World for new horrors every week, ring that death bell for notifications, and I'll see you in the next year, assuming we both survive.